Hi, uh, this is Shishir Kumar from Electrical Engineering at IIT Hyderabad. Today I am going to tell you about a miniaturized microscope that we have developed recently. As you may be knowing, optical microscopy is one of the most important and widespread techniques to look at the biological matter, both in life science research and the medical care industry. We have been trying to use the microfluidic chips for use in these areas. And the microfluidic chips are just like the, or your ordinary electrical circuits in which you have replaced the conductors with a, a small micron size channel in which a fluid flows. The fluid can be water. And if you embed cells into this uh, fluid, then you can observe them, a large number of them very efficiently and individual. Uh, if you want to change the environment around these cells, then for example, you can change, uh, inject a biochemical and observe the effect of that. To do this observation, you need a microscope. And that microscope, if it can be embedded on the chip itself, then you can harness quite a lot of benefits. Your devices can be much more compact, they can be low cost, and you also gain in terms of control and the automation that you can implement. So this is how we got into the miniaturizing the optical microscope for our uh, microfluidic chips. And the one that we have developed right now is perhaps the smallest one around, and it uses only a couple of my, uh, electronic components, and they can be assembled just like a printed circuit board. But the main component that is not used in the earlier microscope is the micro LED display and that is an emerging technology. It is just like a normal my mobile phone display but the pixel size is much more smaller. Individual LEDs that make these pixels are quite exceptionally bright and they are also very small so that when you image using these LEDs then you are going to get an image that has a good resolution as well as the good signal strength. Another advantage of using this display in this application is that you can eliminate arbitrary pattern onto the display, which means that you can use quite a few computational microscopy techniques, for example, to improve the resolution as well as Im implement nifty features. Right now, we are trying to improve the resolution of this microscope to make it almost on par with the desktop microscope as well as to include the fluorescence microscopy techniques. We also want to include and working on it on the a machine learning algorithm so that our response time decreases or we can implement more much more functionality for example the feature detections of in the cells we can implement immediate application that we are trying to work out is a imaging flow cytometer in which you which has a form factor of like the mobile phone and you can uh, sort large number of cells on this uh, on this small mobile phone factor device our group members are going to show you how a prototype looks like and how it works. Hi, I'm Saurabh Kumar, I'm Tech student. And I'm Ekta Prajapati, a research scholar. In our lab, we have developed an on-chip lensless microscope called MuScope, which we will be showing in this video. This is the top view of our homemade imaging setup. This is called MuScope. It comprises of two electronic chips. The first one, is a camera sensor chip. It is connected to the single board computer through this white flexible cable. The other chip is a micro LED display chip which is the key component of MuScope. The micro LED display is a small chip comprising of a rectangular array of LEDs. Each LED of the chip is of micron dimension and is bright enough to be used as a light source. The actuation and the brightness of each LED can be controlled individually. So this is how we assemble MuScope. This is the driver board with, which interfaces micro LED display with the single board computer. Micro LED board is connected with the single board computer using a micro HDMI cable. This board considers micro LED display chip as an extended display. The micro LED control board is used to control the brightness and the actuation of micro LED chips. The sample is placed between micro LED chip and the camera sensor chip. Here I have an example of this sample. This comprises of 5 micrometer beads which are sandwiched between two cover slips. Now to perform imaging, we synchronize the illumination of micro LED chip and the camera sensor chip using Python script. We perform experiment in dark to avoid any stray light to fall on the sample. We illuminate a single micro LED to perform imaging and then the photograms of the sample are captured and they are applied to the algorithm to retrieve the real image of the sample. 
So this is how Blue Scope works. Thank you.